In recent years, many top-tier game studios have taken to spending ungodly amounts of time perfecting the tiniest details of their titles. Every room is meticulously designed. Minor characters are given backstories long enough to fill a novel. If you want to take a break from the main campaign, well, just explore the world. Try out a few side quests. You might just get as much reward as that supposed main threat. In fact, many titles do such a phenomenal job at everything other than the beaten path, alongside those where the story isn't all that anyway and you could have been doing hundreds of other things Things instead that you should often prioritize exploration and free will as much as possible. I'm Scott from WhatCulture.com and these are 8 video games where you should avoid the story. Number 8. Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag 2013's Black Flag is referred to as a pirate simulator for good reason. It has you take control of Edward Kenway, a swashbuckling captain who sails through the West Indies to battle the Templars during the Golden Age of Piracy. On your travels, you battle and ally with many of history's most infamous pirates, including Charles Vane, Calico Jack, and Bonnie and Blackbeard. Although sailing was a minor factor in Assassin's Creed 3, here it's an integral part of gameplay. Captaining the mighty Jackdaw ship, you can use your vessel to find buried treasure, discover what feels like endless amounts of new land, and battle tons of enemy ships. Although these tasks aren't always necessary, they are extremely helpful. By plundering ships and obtaining coin, you can fortify your ship's armor and enhance your weapons, giving way to devastating ram attacks on bigger ships, unlocking even better gear and more chaotic battles overall. These upgrades also factor into the end of the game, if you ever get there, since formidable mana war ships will blast your jackdaw to pieces in seconds unless it's heavily reinforced. Another side quest worth your time is tracking down the Mayan stones. By obtaining all of these artifacts, you'll be rewarded with the Mayan Stalai armor, which makes Edward Kenway totally bulletproof. Pursuing these tasks and others like it only enhance this installment in the Assassin's Creed saga, and arguably it makes Black Flag the best pirate game of all time. Number 7. Batman Arkham Knight Focus on the necessary missions of Arkham Knight and you'll face off against classic villains like Man Bat, Harley Quinn, and the Scarecrow. However, if you want to see a much wider, obscure portion of the Dark Knight's rogue gallery, you'll have to check out the most wanted side quests. With more of them added to the game as the season pass rolled out, you can battle supervillains that don't appear anywhere else, including Ra's al Ghul, Azrael, Mr. Freeze, Killer Croc, Firefly, and the Mad Hatter. Fan favorites like Professor Pig and Deacon Blackfire also make their Arkham debut in this game, but you only encounter them by taking part in a few extracurricular tasks first. Even though most wanted missions are inessential, every one is crammed with in-jokes, easter eggs, and comic book references that every DC purist will appreciate. Number 6. Pokemon Legends Arceus its textures might look like a portion of Google Street View hasn't loaded, but Pokemon Legends Arceus revamped 20 years worth of Pokemon gameplay, putting a much larger emphasis on free roaming and essentially feeling like an open world combat heavy Pokemon Snap. Enter rideable Pokemon, not only used to reach inaccessible areas, but to admire the occasional beauty of the world from above. Props to Game Freak on how they implemented this stuff too. You can gallop across the plains on your weird deer, tap a button mid-air to hang from a braviary, then swoop down over the water and land on a Basque Legion to catch specific Pokemon. When you realize you can alter which Pokemon appear based on your behavior or the time of day, you really start experimenting with the possibilities. As you're encouraged to catch and battle every individual Pokemon in ways that explore every single animation they have to complete your Pokedex, it's very easy to lose tens of hours in the starting area alone. Pokemon Arceus is nothing less than a gameplay first blur of running, flying, swimming, battling, and catching to your heart's content. Number 5. Borderlands 2 In Borderlands 2, you take control of a vault hunter to hunt down the douchiest tyrant in existence, Handsome Jack. Because Jack is protected by a zillion drones, monsters, soldiers, and grunts, having him eliminated is no easy task. On your journey then, you'll need to complete 19 chapters, comprised of 128 mini-quests. For some, that's more than enough, but if you're craving more, check out the extra 159 side quests. Anytime you feel like taking a break from trashing Handsome Jack's weapon factories or plundering his Iridium mines, you can talk to Roland, Mad Moxie, or Claptrap and find some of the best semi-hidden content in the game. A lot of these side quests have the most epic bosses, coolest rewards, and funniest dialogue across all of Borderlands 2. Thanks to hilarious banter from the likes of Tiny Tina, Ellie, and Mr. Talk, it's on missions like these where the Borderlands IP really came into its own. Number 4. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 
The game that inspired everything from Elden Ring to Pray for the Gods, Immortals Phoenix Rising to Pokemon Arceus, Breath of the Wild is swamped with endless things to see, do, and interact with without signposting any of it. The definition of how rewarding freeform video game exploration can feel, your urge to climb every mountain, explore all 120 puzzle shrines, or locate some spirit orbs for Link's health and stamina. Taluses and Lynels are formidable creatures you'll stumble upon in the open world, testing your combat skill and giving better ingredients for stat-boosting potions you can then apply everywhere else. On top of that is a steady supply of shields, weapons, and boss powers improving how you even get around, plus some optional memories fleshing out the backstory of Link, Zelda, and the four champions of Hyrule itself. With the entire game creating a meta-textual relationship between when Link is ready to fight Ganon and you feel confident enough too, you can take as long as you like taming and riding wildlife, searching for mythical dragons, cooking meals, playing golf, and doing much, much more. Number 3. Elden Ring Elden Ring single-handedly proved that some things can live up to unrealistic expectations. Every aspect of From Software's open-world masterpiece has been tailored to perfection. Whether it's exquisitely rewarding fighting mechanics or indulging in George R.R. R. Martin's background lore, attached to every weapon, item, and character strewn across the lands between. Like most fantasy games, you're compelled to delve into your surroundings, but here, in true Soulsian fashion, a better reason to roam around is entirely related to difficulty. Opening on a horse-riding boss designed to encourage you to do anything other than keep fighting, take this lesson on board and you'll find entire franchises worth of unlockables, progress paths, and story beats, regardless of which direction you pick. Gaining XP and refining your approach to combat comes with every encounter, but the quality of Elden Ring is how every aspect of this world folds into something else. Characters will remark on how you've met one of their friends or enemies no matter which order you're doing things in. Combat dungeons big and small house unique weapons. Drop in, drop out co-op can turn Elden Ring into a dungeon crawler with a couple of random teammates if you want a different pace to gameplay. Or you can spend time tracking map fragments upping your health while mashing shiny dung beetles for better weapon skills. All of this is is just the tip of the iceberg on why Hidetaka Miyazaki and the team have outdone themselves in 2022, crafting an experience that thoroughly encourages and rewards your instincts as a gamer at every turn. Number 2. Horizon Forbidden West Yes, 2022's first quarter has been on fire in a very good way, with Horizon's highly anticipated follow-up being a release of immaculate refinement. Again, playing as Aloy, but more confidently embodying her role as protector of the realm, Forbidden West fleshes out its signature mechanic of every creature being its own custom-locked walking treasure chest. Taking robo-dinosaurs down now comes with more options than ever, ranging from weak spots to elemental reactions, triggering specific animations to gain access to a part you might want to carve off, or using newer weapons to keep the pressure on. A far more fleshed out combat tree lets you cloak and hide mid-fight, or spec towards notching three arrows at once with a boost to ranged weapons for that perfect final shot. The cherry on the cake alongside neat minigame strike is drinking this gorgeous game in from the air once you've tamed the shield wing or diving to the bottom of the ocean and just marveling at how gorgeous everything looks. And number 1. Grand Theft Auto V A testament to the fact this has remained in the top 10 best-selling games of a given week since launch in 2013, Grand Theft Auto V is the embodiment of the interactive sandbox. With a budget of $265 million and a 1,000-person dev team, yes, there's a well-written story with incredibly memorable characters, but this is also the best titting about simulator of all time. Stunting vehicles off whatever outcrops you can find, punching pedestrians, getting in police shootouts and car chases, there's a multi-million strong majority of GTA players who actively avoid the story. Literally, at time of recording in 2022, only 16.6% .6 of people have the story completion trophy on PlayStation after almost a decade of playing. Thankfully, Rockstar know what their audience want, and from street races to strangers and freaks missions you can randomly stumble upon, there's always something to enjoy across this ludicrously popular title. And those are just a handful of games where you should actively avoid the story. Let me know your favorites down in the comments below, and please subscribe to the What Culture Gaming Podcast. For now, I've been Scott from whatculture.com, and I'll catch you soon.